Welcome back to the 2018 Regional Radio Sports Network and Indiana Football Digest kickoff show from Beef O'Brady's. Glad to be joined by the new bench boss at Mishawaka Marion, Michael Davidson. Coach, let's go to that first game right away. South Bend Clay at home. Talk about what some of the emotions are going to be like first game as head coach of Marion. Uh, it's going to be special. Uh, I, I mean, you say that, and I don't know that it's really sunk in. I, I, I get a little feeling on the back of my neck just as, as you're saying that. So um, the, I'm going to have to sort of, you know, pinch myself running out there, um, making the making the final calls on a few decisions. Uh, but most of all, it's, it's about the kids. I want the kids to go out there and, and, and represent us well, represent Marion football and what we're all about. you got a couple of conference games before you get into what might be the biggest game of your season at South Bend St. Joe. For someone that hasn't experienced a Holy War game, tell tell the people that are going to be watching the videos what that game in particular is all about. And some of the emotions, not just that you're going to feel, but your guys when they look across, and that's their big rival across the field. Uh, certainly. Um, I, I know that uh, uh, playing in it and, and, and now coaching it, this will be my overall uh, 13th, I guess, uh, 13th go around with them. Um, it, it, it's special. Uh, it's a special, special rivalry. Uh, we, we go against guys that, you know, when, when I was playing, it was the guys that some of them I went to school with, others that I played against from, you know, third, fourth grade, whether it was football, basketball, baseball, track, whatever. Um, and same deal with these kids now. Uh, they, they know them. Some of them are real good friends uh, outside of the, uh, the uh, football field for those 48 minutes. But um, um, it, it's a special, special rivalry. And, and, and really, I, 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 I mean, it, it's the best one that I've been a part of. Um, I know that there's other great ones out there, don't get me wrong. But um, to, if, if you ask me, I, I can't imagine that there's one better out there. What does this kind of schedule do for your team going forward into the postseason and gets them prepared for that grind of a postseason? Um, I really like our schedule. We got a, a, a good mix of schematics in terms of uh, different offenses and defenses that we'll see. Um, and we, we got a, a, a tremendously competitive uh, both conference and non-conference schedule. Um, you look, and, and I, I don't remember exactly what the numbers are, but the Mishawakas, St. Joe's, uh, CMAs, um, uh, I know I'm missing. Bremen's had some runs. Jimtown, obviously, um, and and then you got the the overall speed of the South Bend Washingtons and South Bend Clays. Um, it really does a lot for us um, in terms of moving on to the uh, moving on in the postseason. Summer camps and practices are starting to wind down. You guys are getting ready for that home opener against the Clay Colonials. What are some of the things that you have been surprised with in those camps and practices in the early goings? Um, our guys seem uh, uh, our guys seem like they're enjoying it a little bit uh, a little bit more than what I'm used to. Uh, I, I mean, I remember two days is you're there all day, you're dragging and, and, and you hate one another, you're, you're miserable, um, and they're 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 really coming together well. Um, that that was a, a thing that I really focused on um, from January when I took over all the way through now, and, and we'll continue to work on in terms of making sure that those guys are, are playing for one another. They're the closest knit group. Um, and it's really taken off. Um, as far as as far as other surprises, you know, they're like I said, they they seem like they're enjoying it, but at the same time, um, they're not screwing around. They got a great focus, um, you know, day in day out at, at, at practice meetings, whatever the case. <coughs> excuse me, whatever the case may be. All right, what are some of the things that are going to have to happen for the Marion Knights to have a successful 2018 season? Um, I, don't, I don't think it's that much different from you know what, what a lot of other people say or, or what I've said in years past. But as far as we got to be successful, you know, we want to stay healthy. Uh, we got to stay healthy. We're not <clears throat> we're not the deepest team. Um, we got good talent, uh, but not not tremendously. Oh my God, we don't have D1 guys running on and off the field. Um, so we got to stay healthy. Uh, we got to be disciplined, and, and we got to play great with great effort at all times. Um, if if you, either one of those slip up. Any one of those teams that I mentioned, and, and obviously the, the guys in our sectionals, um, you know, they they're talented enough that they can uh, they can make a Friday night long for us. All right, best of luck in your first season as head coach of Marion. All right, thanks a lot. All right, that was head coach Michael Davidson of the Marion.